If you look at the national airspace in terms of the major players in controlling air traffic, there are three major components, okay? One of it is the pilot or the cockpit side of things. The other one is the air traffic controllers who are, who are basically controlling this air traffic in the system. And the third component is the airline operation centers, which are basically represent specific airlines and they have their own guidelines and rules of how to direct their own traffic. And these three different players, they have basically to communicate together in, in order to manage the air traffic capacity in the national airspace system. If we look at the challenges, for example, in the cockpit area, we're talking about the type of equipage that they like to have, for example, for detection, separation assurance, so they can maintain safety related issues, uh, data link uh, kind of equipment, so they can just digitally uh, basically send their messages back and forth to the air traffic controllers without having to use the phone lines or whatever, voice communication. So kind, these kind of equipages okay, will help or, or assist the pilots basically in, in dealing with the, this increased capacity. Air traffic controllers, they like to have automation tools basically that will assist them again in maintaining this separation assurance and doing the conflict detection and resolution parts of the, of the air traffic issues. Okay, and again, communicating, communicating with the different pilots and, and, and the different aircraft. Air operation centers, most likely they have their own okay, goals and objectives, which basically how to maximize okay, or utilize their fleet okay, and reduce delays, increase efficiency. So they, know, they want to make sure that they are, they are not basically affected by all these delays or increased capacity at the airports or reduced throughput caused by any other major factors like weather, congestion, things outside their, their control. They need to communicate again with the air traffic controllers and get their approval to do certain things in a certain way and reduce the effect on their, on their own operations.